So Victron just released a, a firmware upgrade for the Venus OS to a version 3.5, which looks pretty exciting. Uh, it should work on my uh, Serbo GX here, uh, Touch 50 display. So I'm going to go ahead and update it, and yeah, we'll we'll see the uh, <laughs> the difference. It looks like a, a complete upgrade of the uh, user interface. All right, from my uh, Touch 50 display here, I'm going to go just go ahead and tap it, and then I'm going to go into Menu and Settings, and from here, I'll go into Firmware. It says here I'm running version 3.13 and I want to go up to 3.5 so I'll go to online updates so it says press to update to version 3.5 so it's available I'm gonna go ahead and, and let's go through the update I guess I'll tap, tap it again alright so it says downloading and installing uh, firmware version 3.5 so now we wait alright it's installing 4% and we'll just kind of let it go through its install process. Now while it's uh, installing here I should mention that I, I really know very little about this update. I've seen some stuff, I've, I've read some stuff about it. The user interface is supposed to be completely different but uh, we'll see if we can get it installed first, take a look around and then we'll go from there. All right we're at 95, 97%. I imagine when it gets to up to 100 or so, it's probably going to reboot uh, the servo, and and then it'll come back as something new. So yeah, it's hanging there. All right, it says it's installed and rebooting. All right, it's starting up now. All right, everything seems to be. Connecting. Good news. The new GX user interface is available. Enhance your experience by activating it. So I guess it gives you a choice to keep the uh, original or go with a new one. Let's let's make our choice. The new UI is already installed. You want to switch to it? Because I'm gonna say let's do it. Switching UI. All right, it says, welcome. We're excited to introduce a completely redesigned interface, enhancing both usability and aesthetics of your GX, streamline navigation, everything you love is now even easier, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's do it. Dark or light mode? Brief view. Okay, it's got some different display modes. Just kind of walking you through some of the features. Uh, yeah, so the uh, original view that we're accustomed to is still available, it just looks a lot different. And we've got more control without having to go into the menus all the time, I think. And we have a choice now to toggle between watts and amps depending upon what we want to view in terms of our consumption or incoming power. Okay, learn more, more information online, done. All right, moment of truth. Ooh, look at that. Check that out. So we've got uh, our grid power. Looks like I got 93 watts. It's raining right now, so there's no solar coming in. And these lines basically show a gauge. And this is our, I guess our loads and our battery. Can I touch these? Does it do anything? Okay, yeah, I got some new menus here on the bottom. This is our brief mode. So what if we go to settings and general firmware. So this looks very similar to the old settings menu. Oh, oh there it is. We just swipe over. Look at that. Fancy. So yeah, similar stuff. Uh, right now my solar coming in. We've got our little energy <laughs> animations there going between our sources and our loads. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so we just got two views right here. No alerts. And oh, it goes right into settings. So we don't have to go to the menu. We can just swipe over. I'm just tapping things right now to see what's going on. Oh, we can 
have like a little side view here. That's cool. Okay, I like that. That uh, looks very similar to another battery monitor that I used to have in the Class C. So yeah, very cool. I like this display right here. Yeah, these things are moving and animating. I like that. All right. It's just like a sleep. Oh, it goes off. So I heard about this. So if you are in a, uh, a sleeping area or if, it's, if you want it to be dark and you don't want the panel here to light up the space, you can hit this sleep mode and it just goes dark. Very cool. It's just like a little moon. I like this mode. I like this display right here. That's pretty cool. But I can just swipe over or press this overview button. And this is what we're used to. So it's nice and blue and Victron-y and uh, pretty cool. Well, there you go. We are updated to the new OS and it looks pretty cool. And that's what's really cool about uh, Victron that you know we kind of hit on years ago is that everything is uh, updatable and software controlled. So, you know, as new features and new bug fixes and everything come out, you know, that you get access to all of those new features and updates when they're available without having to change out any hardware. So this is a great example of that. Of course, now a lot of different platforms support online updates, even batteries, <laughs> you know, lithium batteries have firmware upgrades and all that stuff. So all this app control stuff is kind of caught up to where Victron's been for a long time. So yeah, if you have a, uh, a GX device like this, go ahead and, and update it and, uh, and check out the new user interface and play around with it. Check out the different uh, options and uh, let us know what you think.